Oh my gosh, Pro Tools just did something crazy. They decided to integrate Splice into Pro Tools. This is a game changer. Personally, I have been waiting on this for I couldn't tell you how long, only because as a Pro Tools user, getting into FL is just, for me, it's a headache. It's not that I don't want to learn FL, it's just that I love Pro Tools so much, and Splice in FL is cool, and the Cloud in FL is cool, but having Splice in Pro Tools completely changes everything for me. Let's look at it. So I'm gonna kind of walk you through what I did to set up my Splice account with Pro Tools. And I started on a beat. It's not the best beat in the world, but I started on a beat and we're gonna look at it and kinda, I'm gonna show you how it works. So I've got my Pro Tools session here. This is what I uh, started working on. This is just a little bit of a beat that I have started on. And to find Splice in Pro Tools, if you turn on this clip list up here, it's gonna pull up your clips, but you can see where Splice is integrated right here. If you click on this, this should pull up like this. Uh, I will say I'm already logged in. If you're not logged in, uh, you can make a free account. I will say, uh, and this is something I didn't know, this is major, Pro Tools and Splice. Splice is a sound library with tons of instruments and sounds and stuff like this that you can pull into your DAW and make a beat from, right? But Pro Tools and Splice have their own sounds without using credits. So I'm paying, I'm on my seven day free trial, but I picked the $12.99 a month. And with the $12.99 a month, you get no credits, but you get all of the sounds that come with, uh, I guess the Pro Tools Splice collab, you know what I mean? So you can pay for more where you're getting more stuff, but I am just working with what Pro Tools and Splice have agreed on giving people for the $12.99 a month. So we're gonna look at that. I'm pretty sure I'm already logged in. And it's actually crazy because there's a ton of sounds. And I thought it would be like, you know, it's not gonna be a whole lot in here, but these are all sounds from this beat that I have right here. This is all sounds that I have put in. And I just literally started with like loops of stuff. And I'm just gonna play uh, sort of what I have right here so far. I just wanted to let you know that I miss you. So that sounds dope, it's cool. It, it doesn't sound like a bunch of loops, uh, but it, it's super dope. And I'm gonna just kinda show you, I'm gonna add on to this. Or I might just I might just start something new over here. I'm gonna show you how this works. So uh, at the home tab, you've got the option to pick like what instruments you're looking for. There's a bunch of different instruments in here. You can search for genres, you can search for literally just effects, like which is crazy. Uh, I wonder, my first thought is I wonder if they have like gunshot effects. I know a lot of rappers like stuff like that. And they have a, an AI tool down here. Uh, let's see, and you can click like, we'll click that clip and search. And it should search for stuff that sounds, yeah, this should give me sounds that like would sound good with it. Uh, with this loop and this if you play this this is just the reference but you should be able to find sounds that go good with whatever you uh, you click on the way that I was doing it was I literally just I was picking an instrument you know going with something like we'll just start with this is how I was doing this electric guitar let's do electric guitar 
And we would just pull something. I don't know, like let's just pull this into here. That's gonna do that. And I do wanna mention from, from somebody who's used FL a couple times, this syncs to the BPM in your DAW, which is right here. You can see down here, uh, are you wanting it to be halftime? Uh, are you wanting to sync it to your DAW? Are you want it to do double time? If you don't want the time stretch on, you can just turn this off and it will be whatever BPM the original source uh, file is. Uh, but most people are going to use time stretch because they want it to fit to the BPM of their DAW, which that's cool. You know, it's we've got, now we've got this sound in here. Yeah, and then, I mean, it's it's as easy as literally just doing, like, let's go instruments. Uh, actually, I want to I wanna find some, some loops. Uh, let's just type. Type in loops. We'll do loops, and we'll do drums. And we'll make sure it's in the... We'll do same key. We'll do we'll do G minor because I see this is in or I notice it won't let you click minor or major, uh. But yeah, this is in G minor, so we'll just find something in G, and we can just let's find something that goes with this. This genre would be almost like um. Not R and B, but we'll we'll put R and B for this. I don't know if this goes with this, but we're gonna definitely try it. We're gonna put that in there. We'll just make sure it's on the grid. Make sure this is on the grid. We'll probably bring this back a little bit. It's literally as easy as that. Like you just find the instrument you want and you put it in uh, and you can go as far as adding. It, it was super cool. I did some just vocal things down here in my beat that I'm making like this pink track right here. If we just solo that like that, that type stuff is cool. That can really amp up a song. Uh, and make it sound super dope. I hope that that was insightful enough. I wanted to make sure I made the video real short and simple and to the point, because once you see it, you're gonna wanna get out there and make your own beat. I do wanna mention that this is a new update in Pro Tools, so if you don't have the 2025.6.0 Pro Tools update, then Splice is not gonna show up on your Pro Tools. So make sure that you go get that. Make sure that you update Pro Tools and get in Splice and start having fun. Peace.